Hi guys, you're watching episode 4 of the Tashley Yoni Show. Um, this show today is basically um, based around my nutrition studies. Um, so those of you who, have, who haven't watched 3, 2, or 1 episode, you could probably just search it on, which will be up there, on the YouTube search bar. Um, so, for those of you who don't know, this is a progress show. I'm not going to go into too much detail. If you could just do the link things, um, that would be awesome. Um, so today's show is, of course, about my nutrition studies, but also what's happening at the moment with them. If you're hearing some background noise, it is Lily. Um, she's here. She is being as loud as ever. Um, so my nutrition studies are going well. Um, I was behind, about a month and a half behind, because I was affected by the floods and I've moved. Um, but now, long story short, if you want to look at my blog, yes, I know there's a lot of things going on in my life. Um, but if you want to look at my blog, it goes into detail about what's happened, etc. So you can catch up. So if you want to do that now, I will stop. For example, I'm studying referrals in healthcare. That's my subject at the moment that I will have my exam on this Thursday, 6 till 8, two hour exam. Freaking out! So, yes, that is my exam. What I do is I have a study book. Before I even have an exam, when I first got all the information, because I'm a distance education student, distance education, I got this. Now, as you can see, these have tabs. No, they didn't come with tabs. I'm an organized freak, um, but it is a good thing. So I won't try and drill you into being organized like I am. And no, it doesn't mean I'm any smarter. It just means I like being really organized with tabs. So this is pretty much, I always go through, even when I'm just learning, like not exactly studying, just learning, and I always highlight major points in there, I always tag pages and just put the headings up there so that you're not ruining your pages and information by constantly flicking through it all, searching frantically. So that's what I do. And then what I thought was, my exam, um, this particular one, is made up of 14 short questions and two case studies. So what I have done is um, made a bullet point presentation and for example there'll be a title that comes up here says what is the referral process and then the next page which you would obviously click for on your mouse will come up in bullet point for the answers. So what I do is I type it all out first, so the whole thing is done, and then I go up the top, and I've kind of got a repetitive process that I do. Um, for example, off the top of my head, um, why establish the need for referral? Um, is it going to benefit the client? Is the referral really necessary? Is the modality slash service slash professional that you have recommended the correct one for this? What is the cost availability of the service? Oh, sorry. Um, and is there any prerequisites for the service? So that's that's me remembering from using the PowerPoint presentation. So it does work. I really am a scatterbrain, so I need something that works for me. So if you are good at remembering, this will help you tenfold. It really does help. Um, it just helps the brain, keeps the brain stimulated. So if you want to put bright colors up or whatever works for you, um, this may not work for everyone. I'm not preaching to you that it will work for everyone. I'm just saying, I mean, really to me, if this video is up, I would give it a try. I mean, it, it's worth a try. If it fails, then it fails, but I really don't think it will. Um, so yeah, please give it a try if you have an exam coming up, etc. I'm not sure February is anyone's exam month, but because I'm distance education, uh, it is my exam month. Now, let me know how it goes. Put your comments below, please. Um, and yes, so good luck, everyone. Not that you'll probably need it because you probably don't stress out like me, but if you do, comment below and let me know.